So, okay. When two particles choose to open up a conduit between each other, then the current begins. So like when the sun opens, when you see a sunspot, both the center of the sun, the magnetic point, uh, one point of the, of the current, and the other point have chosen to create that conduit. So it is connected to something else. Something's pulling it or, or, or allowing, facilitating the current to flow. And I think because of quantum entanglement, quantum entanglement is that one object can appear in multiple places at once. And I believe that everything in the universe is entangled, that everything in the universe is actually the same thing in another form. Although through entanglement, as, as scientists see it, it, it's very, very, very small. Like, it doesn't seem like this is entangled with me, that I am, this is an aspect of me, but if, if things did begin with a big bang and everything was compacted as a unit, then everything comes from the same thing. So everything is quantumly entangled in a way. We don't perceive it though because we become so used to it. We exist within this structure. So we don't see the quantum, we don't see the entanglement of this structure at face value. We have to really almost get away, like calm, be, be totally comfortable totally calm with survival and then we start to sense the entanglement of things and the currents between things that aren't a distance measurement but just that are there traveling essentially through a time space scenario that our minds don't perceive when you're thinking of someone you're it's not traveling electricity across the world to them it's just connected it might seem like it's traveling. If we were able to measure that, it would be interesting. But the mind doesn't know that it's there, not here. And technology is beginning to prove this, I believe. To see someone on video seems as if they're in front of you. For me, when I see someone on video, it seems like they're in front of me. I forget some, sometimes that, they're, that they didn't make that. I forget that they made that yesterday, that I'm watching something that is a day old. But essentially, I am connecting to that mind electrically. I am entangled to it, and so I have a connection to it so that things it does affects me. Technology is speeding that up. It's heightening the process. When you have a thought, I would have uh, an experience because of it. I would have a related experience. It would be incredibly deep into the subconscious if it was one person having one thought. But, okay, then say that one person records the thought, puts it on the internet, and 5,000 people see it, including me, I see it. All of a sudden, my thought process has been so impacted by this thing that this one other person is doing. There's a definite, everything that happens around us affects us because we are entangled by it. There is no avoiding it. All these things around us that are happening, it is affect, all of it is affecting us because it is all connected to us. We all come from the same experience. And so all of our actions are affecting it. And every action that it is experiencing is affecting us. To accept that is a great thing. To accept that the things around us are connected to us. That our pattern is that pattern. To forget that you're John Smith to forget that I'm Ian Crossland and to just see it as another piece of connected meat, another piece of matter that came from the matter source. Forget that you're a human for a moment and see it from a outs outside, not even outside, just see it. And then I'm like, see it. And I think, I'm in my mind, I think, I'm doing a good thing. I mean, I don't literally think those words, but I'm thinking like, yes, see it, see it. Like, do it, make it happen, push. And then I watch it, and I watch myself, and I'm just like, what a fucking jackass. See it. See, you can see it. I won't tell you to. I've apologize for coming at it so hard.
like that there so strongly so inten intense you know you do know you know because I know intensity want to dial down the intensity want to lower the frequency a bit and pass it through more easily to make it better for people that are trying to eat and sleep and have calm minds. Don't want to scream at people. That's what happens, man. When I, when I get so intense and I'm like, see it, I have a feeling that it, it stays on people's minds and it starts to consume their, their thought. When people tell you to do something, when people are very strong with you, with me, uh, then I start to get, they stay on my mind more. And that's why people have been listening, is because I, I'll say things like, do it, do it, and people are like, ah, ah, they don't like it, but they're like drawn to it, because they're like, why is this person telling me to do stuff? Why is this person telling me this? Really though, I should say that we can. You can do it. I won't tell you to do it. You can. I do believe that. It's like a base belief of mine. It is a base belief of mine, not like a base belief. It is a base belief of mine that we can. See you later. I don't know if I should end it like without speaking or end it with speaking. It's the real way. Be comfortable, but like what is comfort? Because I can always go a little deeper. I can always question my question, my thought, my thought. I can watch myself, watch myself, watch myself. Or I can take a break from YouTube, step away from the intense video examination of my mind and my soul and my body. At least lower the frequency. Hey Ian, you're going to watch this video, so when you do, lower the frequency. Just a little bit, dude. And you got it.